Good evening. The U.S. Embassy in Tehran has been invaded and occupied by Iranian students. Good evening. The American Embassy in Tehran is in the hands of Muslim students tonight. I have received assurances that they will be kept safe and, uh, and well. The administration's problem is no one knows whom to blame for the takeover of the embassy. And we call you to on job they get it done. Good evening. For the first time since the Iran crisis began 40 days ago, President Carter has indicated a glimmer of hope. I don't know how much longer we can sit here and uh, see them kept captive while the uh, situation around them uh, does uh, deteriorate. It was my decision to attempt the rescue operation. It was my decision to cancel it. Keen helicopter I have car tell up Sahid Kar. Masahid Karbi. The responsibility is fully my own. Reagan do solemnly swear. I, Ronald Reagan, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of President. Let me say to the hostage family, we have not given up, we never will. A few months ago, I told the American people I did not trade arms for hostages. There's no argument over the choice between peace and war. I confess to you that I thought using the Ayatollah's money to support the Nicaraguan resistance was the right idea. I undertook the original Iran initiative in order to develop relations with those who might assume leadership in a post Khomeini government. Read my lips. Iran, in our mind, Iran is a bad guy. It's a bad guy. There are today Americans who are held against their will in foreign lands and Americans who are unaccounted for. Assistance can be shown here and will be long remembered. Good will begets good will. We know that Iran was directly involved in a terrorist operation that killed 19 Americans. And we need some answer from the Iranians that they're going to hold those involved responsible. Bani, baraye mubarize ba terorizm dar tamami ashkal an va az jumla terorizm dawlati. We're working toward a diplomatic solution to this crisis. And as we do, we look to the day when you can live in freedom. And America and Iran can be good friends. امریکا میخواد ما رو به کلی از این حق برو کنه سعی کردم با توجه به این شرایط این دیدگاه رو بهش وفادار باشم And I think it would be a horrible mistake to attack Iran. 
militarily. The strategic situation now is that if we don't respond, the Iranians will take it as a sign of weakness and the attacks will increase. The Iranian government must now demonstrate through deeds its peaceful intentions. <laughs> bomb, 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 bomb. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Iranian nuclear issue is a problem. To prevent, again, something even worse, which was a possible communist takeover. For many years, Iran has defined itself in part by its opposition to my country. And there is, in fact, a tumultuous history between us. The choice is up to the Iranian regime. They can come clean with the international community about the scope of their nuclear activities. Or they can continue on a path of isolation. Because we're simply not afraid. Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad repeated inflammatory comments that he made three years ago. These people here, these people who come here to fight, they just, I, I mean, they've left their families, they've left their houses. Just they want to come here just to fight the, the Iraqis. But your country is now helping Iraq, right? But why? You see these people? Yeah, how old is he? How old is this guy? Must be 14, 14 or something. Because he's come here to fight. He's left his mother, he's left his father. If you took a vote among the Iranian people today compared to the uh, 15th century clerics they have running the country today, you might see a majority for the Shah. <laughs> He will become another leader as we have many in our country who was kicked out while well, my father kicked uh, the former king here because he had no contact with his people. months, the Iranian people have sought nothing more than to exercise their universal rights. The interest of both of us is the same, to maintain our freedom, to maintain our peace, and to provide a better life for our people. What's taking place within Iran is not about the United States or any other country. It's about the Iranian people and their aspirations for justice better life for themselves. Iran aggressively pursues these weapons and exports terror. relationship between that leader and his people will not be the one existing between me and my people. A nuclear bomb. UN atomic inspectors say Iran now has enough enriched uranium to make one. And their terrorist allies constitute an axis of evil. Just but, uh, no but, it was full of that. And uh, in Farsi, it's much easier to do that. In English, it's more difficult.